So in this video, we'll balance the chemical equation SiO2 plus CaC2, silicon dioxide plus calcium carbide. It's a bit of a challenging equation to balance because we have an oxygen here and here, so it kind of gets tricky when we have them spread out. I've already counted the atoms up. The thing you need to be careful of is we have one oxygen here and two here. One plus two, that gives us the three. Make sure you count all of those. Let's start, I like to leave oxygens until last, so let's start with the carbon. Put a two in front of the CO2, one times two, that gives us two, then we need to update the oxygen atoms. We have one plus four, so we have five. So everything's balanced except the oxygens. I really can't do much over here. If I put two, that would only give me four. If I put a three, that would give me six. So I think what I'd like to do is change the calcium oxide so that I can get an even number over here. If I put a two in front of the CaO, one times two, that gives us two of those. Let's update the oxygens. Two times one is two plus two times two, that's four, so we'd have six. That's a little bit better because we have even numbers, but now the calciums aren't balanced. So I'm gonna leave the oxygens till last. I'm gonna put a two in front of the calcium carbide. One times two, so now the calciums are balanced again, but two times two, we have four carbons. And the only way we're gonna get four carbons over here is to change this two to four. So we'll put a four here, one times four, that gives us four carbons. And we need to update the oxygen atoms again, because this four goes to everything. I think we're getting close though. So two times one is two plus four times two, that's eight, so we have 10. Well, at this point, everything's balanced except the oxygen. So I'll put a five in front of the SiO2. One times five, that's five of those. Two times five, that'll give us 10 of those. So the oxygens are balanced and the Si, it's all by itself. So when we put a five here, one times five, it doesn't change anything else. We're done. This equation is balanced. This was a lot of work because we kind of went back and forth. I think the key is leave the oxygens till last and then just kind of work your way through it. At least that's how I did it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.